happy Wednesday. Welcome to Science Online. This is the last Wednesday in February. So uh, I'm going to do a checkup because I promised everybody from last week when we did the d dissolving hearts. Um, so this is a checkup. I remember we did water, olive oil, vinegar, and just for funsies, we did hand sanitizer, like the gel type. Uh, I want you to know that that is all that's left of that conversation heart. And it is paper thin. I'm afraid to touch it because I feel like it will just break apart. Olive oil, it like ate around the edges a little bit. I wish you could, could see. I don't think it'll focus enough. I kind of want to poke it. Ooh, and it's still, it's still rock hard. It's still rock hard. But the edges are like smooshed. And then like there's there's nothing left of the vinegar like there's some smooch on the side where it like evaporated but like that's there, there is nothing left the vinegar ate the heart which is to be expected and then so the alcohol evaporated from the sanitizer just leaving whatever the gel was which is like i think an aloe and something else but like it's weird because that was hard but the rest of it is all like gelatinous like can you see it like jiggling so yes vinegar if you ever need to dissolve a heart a conversation heart definitely go with vinegar uh or water because those both did fantastically well don't use olive oil if you need to dissolve anything apparently because it doesn't work and hand sanitizer just makes it squishy so now after last week we're on this week. Now we are doing flying hearts. We are going to use something a little bit uh, with electricity. What you're going to need is a balloon and some tissue paper. Now that tissue paper is very important. It should be cut into little heart shapes. It doesn't have to be. It could be just squares. You can cut it out into some other fun shape. It's up to you. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate some atoms. Now atoms make up everything. Uh, they're the building blocks of matter. Uh, and atoms have this great thing about them that they have protons, which are positively charged particles, and they have electrons, which are negatively charged. And what I'm going to do is you can take a cloth. And again, this is just like a rag. I'm going to take it and you can rub it. What happens is that negative electrons tend to uh, slide over to other things, especially if those things are conductors or rather, sorry, let me rephrase that. They tend to slide onto insulators because insulators tend to hold onto electrons because they're insulators. And they're like, no, you're mine. Um, but if you have a conductor, conductors tend to lose electrons. Now you can do it this way if you want, or you can do it the fun way where you just sit here and you rub it on your head. And you can actually see the electrons and the protons trying to balance themselves out because if you pull up, you can see my hair sticking to it. Oh, I need a haircut. But that's because the positive and negative electrons are trying to balance themselves out, just like nature. Nature, nature likes a vacuum, or nature likes a balance, not a vacuum. Sorry, I had that phrase that nature Nature pours a vacuum. So I said that. Okay. So I have hopefully positively charged my balloon. And when I put it down next to my tissue paper, I can attract those electrons and make my tissue paper fly. And again, I'm not touching anything. They're just stuck there. And if it it starts not doing, then then just recharge your balloon by rubbing it on your hair again. And it's all just static electricity. So this is the same thing as, has anybody ever like walked across the carpet? And then when they reached the door handle, they got zapped. Static electricity. And believe it or not, lightning, like the stuff that comes from the sky, that's just a really big bolts of static electricity because protons and electrons meet in the middle and create a burst of electricity to even it out. So uh, I think that's a really easy one, but have fun with it. See what works better. Do you think this one works better? Do you think this one works better? 
see if other types of paper will uh will fly and move uh i like tissue paper because it's very light also this one had sparkles in it um what else could you use how else could you use static electricity this one's really quick i hope you enjoyed it i hope you have a little fun and um you also have a balloon now that you can play keepsy epsies with think critically love science, do science, ask questions, and uh, wow, we'll see you all in March. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.